What's up guys, Reefer NYC back with another video and today we are just going to do a quick little update but also going to show you guys how to submit a Triton test, um, ICP test uh, to check your parameters. Um, but yeah, basically let's do an update quick. Um, all the fish are still in there, <laughs> no jumpers. Um, as you see, the yellow tank is not in here yet, still in my other tank. But um, otherwise, the corals are looking fine, looking really good. Um, there is some, I guess, dino slash algae on the sand bed, as you can see here. Considering uh, I do feed pretty heavy, um, I broadcast feed, but also this goes off twice a day. I might consider putting it down to once a day so I can combat, combat uh, the algae, but also I need to do more water changes too. I've been kind of lacking on that. Um, but that's why I have the ICP test. Um, let me get it really quick. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. So we have the ICP test uh, from Triton Lab. Um, Unique Coral sent this out to me to test out my water parameters. Um, so shout out to them. But it's pretty easy. Pretty much I filled out my profile online. Um, gonna do the water sample, which is two vials. And all you gotta do is just mail it out. Um, there's no adding reagents or anything like that. Um, very simple. Um, basically, this is how it is. Basically, you make your, your profile online, create your tank online, um, dump the vials into your tank, the test vials into your tank three times just to rinse it out, put the barcode that comes with it, and then you just mail it off. Um, just make sure you take a picture of your barcode in case you forget or whatever. Uh, just an extra step of precaution um, so you don't waste your money when you set your top, when you set up your test. Um, but yeah, let me show you real quick. I'm just going to do it with one hand. Um, basically, you get your two test files. Uh, what you want to do is, let's see, how much do I need? Well, I guess we can do up to as much as possible, but just make sure that you're water that you're using is clean and any contaminants that were in the test bowel, which should be zero, are not uh, mixing with your water. So there's one. I'm just going to leave it here. Uh, hopefully, that, does it sink? Will it sink? Eh. We'll leave it there for now. So basically, we to get two of these and then I put the cap on it. Sorry. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, but otherwise, yeah, tank is looking good. Um, what else can I was gonna say? SPS, uh, we're seeing a little bit of growth on the SPS, especially the bird's nest, bird's nest, bird's nest, bird's nest. Uh, you can see those little bumps coming out. Uh, like I said, this has only been set up for like a month and a half, month, month and three quarters or so. So we're approaching two months for this tank. Um, but everything is looking really happy. Got my squamosa clams in there. Got the bounce mushrooms, got the ganias torches everything's looking really happy the anemone is still staying there which is great um but yeah otherwise everyone's really happy no issues let me fix this really quick before it falls into the abyss sorry um the i don't know if you saw my other video we were talking about the green slimer and how it was like browned out and like um just wanted to do a test but yeah like i said after the first week it bounced back like super green. So happy to see that. Um, but the, yeah, these other corals are just hanging, chilling in there. Um, no big issues. No, yeah, no other issues so far. Fingers crossed. Um, I did see my clove polyps and the back started attaching to the back wall, which is what I wanted. So hopefully I have a back wall full of clove polyps, which will look pretty cool. Um, I know these exenias are starting to cover the rock, which is great. Um, so hopefully I have this whole Xenia. See, even these are like spreading onto the rock now. Um, have an Xenia kind of farm on this side, which would look pretty nice. Um, what else can I say? But yeah, I think that's about it. Like I said, doing the Triton test, hopefully I can get my results in about a week or so. Um, then I will report back with you on this video, actually. So I thought I was going to end the video now, but uh, well, should I end the video now? Yeah, let's end the video now. I'll report back to you guys in a week or so, do another like update. Um, hopefully I'll have the results back by then, and then we could dive deeper into what the results say. Uh, one of my friends did it already, so I know what to expect when I see the results. Um, so they're pretty detailed. Uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed, everything looks good. Maybe I'll just have to reduce feeding. Um, but
but otherwise yeah guys thanks for watching this is a quick one and i will catch you guys on the next one peace